Spaniel. He was doing really well with his gun dog training and sort of through trials. And I hand reared two baby rabbits from one day old. And he sat with me with his head on the knee every two hours while we fed them. And when we came to carry on and teach him to pick up rabbits in the gun dog training, he will not. So it was the end of a promising career. Now, Chris, these are two beautiful Weimaraners. Do, do, you, do you work these dogs? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Their main reason that I have Weimaraners is to work them rather so than show them. They're not just show dogs? They're not just show dogs. Now, Margaret, I happen to know that Louis here, the Italian Spinoni, was best of breed last year. What's he doing back wearing a t-shirt? <laughs> Um, Louis, the mascot for Lindsay McCartney uh, for breast cancer in Liverpool, and his T-shirt is representing the field of women, which is 10,000 people coming together on a field at Edgeworth Cricket Club, and we're hoping to raise a million pounds. Fantastic. Well, listen, best of luck. Fantastic, some lovely faces there, some great stories as well. Some gunshot going off around the back. I'm not sure whether that's because it's gun dog day. Uh, but the largest of the setters in the gun dog group is the Gordon setter. They're loved for their looks and their personality, but what really makes them tick is the great outdoors. <laughs> We keep golden setters here, and we have four at the moment. Love them to bits. They're great fun to have around. We have considered other breeds, but we really, our heart is with the golden setter. I love golden setters because of their vibrancy. They're very loyal. They love exercise. Um, in fact, I would say they prefer exercise before food. And they love to be out in the fields, galloping. They do need disciplining, otherwise they can take over the house. That's enough. They need firm handling, but not aggressive handling. When we're looking at the Gordon Setter Standard, we are very much a headed breed with this beautiful, lovely, rich, dark chestnut tan and a very noble look about them. Lovely dark eyes, low set ears, a lovely neck into well laid shoulders, level top line, and a well set on tail. So you should have a nicely balanced dog, deep brisket, plenty of heart room, so that when they're galloping, they really can go all day. Our first Gordon setter came to us in about April of 1979. As quite a youngster, he was a rescue dog. They couldn't cope with him. And it was really through that dog that I got so heavily involved with Gordon setters. I'd never shown dogs before. I'd shown horses in hand and I'd driven them and jumped, but I'd never actually shown dogs. So I went to training classes and they 